Um, I'm very happy with it. I'm excited. <laughs> Good morning. It's Sunday and uh, I was just noticing as I was getting ready how now my hair is like naturally wavy, but uh, I just brushed it with this, which I'll talk about in a second. But um, I'm noticing that it's like, look how like this little curl. Uh, it's never been, it's never like curled like that. It's always just been wavy. So it's kind of an interesting uh, side effect of the, the new shampoo process that I've been following or method that I've been following. So one of the recommendations, and I've been doing research as I proceed in my journey, uh, that a boar bristle, a natural boar bristle brush is good f to use for transferring the natural oils of your scalp down the hair shaft. Um, and that's like supposedly, I, I think this applies in many cases, the natural things and oils that your body produces are the best kind of oils for your body. So for example, for my hair, uh, you know, the natural oils that it produces is the best kind of oil for it. So big plans, big grandiose plans for today. Um, well, one is that big laundry pile there, but I don't know about that. Now it was, it was sunny earlier, but I'm just like looking at the sky and I don't know. It could just be clouds. I don't know. Maybe I should look at the weather map. Although weather down here changes pretty quickly. Um, but uh, yeah, so laundry. I want to film part two of uh, a video that I filmed part one of a while back and it's going to be for another channel that I started a while ago, like a couple years ago I did one video and then I just got intimidated and I wasn't courageous enough to keep going. So, um, so now I'm ready. I'm ready to start back up with that and it's my nail care routine. And back then I just had my iMac. So I was just using the, uh, you know, like the webcam built into the iMac, which the quality wasn't that good. Uh, so I want, I did, I did redid the video with this nice camera. Um, so I'm going to film part two of that today and hopefully edit and upload that. Um, so I'm excited cause I don't know how it's going to turn out procrastinating on this video because I felt like it had to be perfect. And I've never really filmed, like with the style that this video, I'm doing for this video, I've never really filmed that before. So um, I realized I just had to dive in and like make as many mistakes as possible so that I could learn from them so I could get better at it. Um, so once I told myself that, I released myself from the pressure of having it be, needing it to be perfect the first time around. Let's get started. Although I'm just thinking, if I put that laundry in, there's gonna be the laundry machine noise in the background while I'm filming my video. Hmm. Oh my goodness, so ridiculous. You know, the cats sit on and sleep on this patio furniture more than we do. <laughs> oh, goodness. Passed out. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to shoot part two today because one, my camera battery, I kept checking it too and it kept saying full bars and then all of a sudden it's like blinking red. So I don't understand that. So I'm guessing that meter, that little icon is not accurate or something. I don't, I don't know. It was full and then all of a sudden it's not. That doesn't make sense. So there was that. Uh, so I just charged it for a tiny little bit so that I could um, transfer my videos from yesterday so I could edit and upload my vlogs. Um, and then also too, I don't have a tripod and I thought I'd be able to make do, but I need to film my hand. So, and I need my hand, my other hand free. So I need the functionality of what a, like the tilt of a tripod would give me. And I don't know, I just tried making a makeshift tripod out of a, plastic cup like cutting it and it just like it wasn't working <laughs> so I don't know if that's gonna happen today I feel like and also too um, finding a good backdrop so like I came over here and I brought the stool over and I put because I figured like the light from here but <laughs> I totally like blocked the light and there's this awkward shadow so uh, yeah so I don't know how I'm going to find um, some good 
One, I need a good location to where I can get like, like a plain background so I can get a close up of my, my fingernails. Um, and I also need a tripod like capability, tilt capability for the camera so that I don't, you know, show the whole background. Um, so yeah, we'll see if it's, it sounds like it's not going to be realistic until I have a tripod. Um, I kind of knew that, but I thought I would maybe be able to make do. Who knows? Maybe I'll come up with something. We'll see. For now, I'm just going to edit and upload my vlog because that seems like the obvious thing to do at the moment. All right, I did it. I was able to do a uh, makeshift tripod. <laughs> so I've got this like, you don't mind my nail clippings. <laughs> so I've got this like tilted out and this little, um, so like the, uh, the lens, let's see. I have to show you what I'm talking about. So this part of the camera like sticks out. So it was, this was like hanging out in the little ridge of the book. Just finished editing my update, my, my nail care routine video for my other channel. And it came out as I envisioned in my head. Um, I'm very happy with it. I'm excited. <laughs> so uh, I will link that in the description below. I will also do a little annotation for those of you that are, uh, for those of you that are on a computer, you can click the annotation. For those of you that are on a mobile device like an iPad or an iPhone or a smartphone of some kind, uh, you can look in the description below or to the side or wherever it is and I'll have a link in there for you that you can click and go watch it. I'm ready. I've got a uh, nook here to watch some YouTube videos and I got my little pad for to write out my schedule for tomorrow and uh, I'm gonna take a long hot bath right now across the street is that no it's not but while I wait luckily I have a snack so that I don't die of starvation